What's going on folks, welcome back to another Scum video, I hope you're all doing well as always, thank you very much for your ongoing support on the channel, greatly appreciate it. Now as you know I'm sponsored by GG Host, you guys know this by now, affiliate links in the description below, don't forget to use my name in the promo code uh, upon purchase, and uh, you'll get your 50% off on your first month with GG Host. Ladies and gents, very happy with their performance, and their survival servers as well is absolutely awesome, go check it out, there's a good selection uh, of some of the uh, most popular survival games right now. Right, so we are having a little look-see here um, with the new hunting system, guys. The hunting system has been reworked. Okay, right now it's not the most popular, and there's a lot of people that actually want this change. So there might possibly be um, another video in the future um, explaining how the hunting system works. So the skills you're going to need for this are awareness. So for this character, I've set advanced awareness, and I've only got basic survival. They do say basic to medium survival or higher. Uh, but obviously we can't have it all and we can't put all our skills all the way up. So I've got the awareness set to advanced. Now, what happens is, is you've got a few stages of how this works. So the first thing is, you will hear the actual animal first, right? So they're not actually walking around the map, right? This is one of the things that people didn't like. So you're going to hear them and then you're going to look for clues. When you get to the clue, you're going to hold F and examine it. And the more clues you find you have then got the chance of spawning that animal in, which means you've now tracked it and you're and you're hunting it, right? Um, now, there is a difference with some of these animals of how they work in day and night time because some animals are nocturnal. Also, you have uh, the predatory animals as well. So you have the bears and the wolves that, as far as I'm aware, you do not have to track those. Those will most likely come for you. So if you're in an area with wolves or a bear, they will hunt you. That is the difference. Now, the difference with the awareness skill. So if you've got a basic awareness, right, you have a radius of where clues are going to spawn in. So obviously, if I'm in focus mode, I'm looking around and I'm going to start seeing clues. Now, if you've got a basic awareness, you're only going to have a radius of like five meters, which is nothing. And it's very, very hard uh, to near impossible to actually find any animals because you can't find the clues. So basic awareness will give you clues like around here. And if you have advanced awareness, you're going to see the clues really far out, which gives you more options to get these clues to activate the animal, um, which is which is a, uh, it's a different way of doing things, I suppose. Now, you don't have to crawl around to find the animal initially. We're looking for the sound. The sound is the first clue. So you can just run, and eventually you're going to hear an animal. So... I've spawned myself in the middle of uh, C1 here. I am playing on a live server uh, that someone has very generously um, donated towards uh, for me to make these videos as well. So uh, thank you, Amanda. Really do appreciate that. Much love. And um, also at the same time, when you're walking around here, if you're looking for animals as well, you don't really want to be making any noises. Okay, so you are going to really want to bow. Um, oh, that one went a little bit over. And that one didn't hit either. And there we go. So you want to have a bow because you want to be quiet. You're a hunter, so you need to have the skills for hunting and the equipment as well. So we're going to run around here until we hear an animal. And then we're going to start tracking it. And we're going to see if we can um, hunt it down. Now, if it takes too long before I find an animal, I will cut the video. But I'll kind of want to show you live here uh, without any editing. So you can see exactly how this works. So we're just going to run around here. I'm hoping to find deer or something around here. Maybe a donkey or something. Um, but the animals are to the sort of different biomes of the map now, which is really cool. So we're going to keep running until we find the sound. And like I said, I'll cut it right here. Um, I'll cut it in a moment if I can't find an animal. And then I'll clip it until we initially hear the animal. Right, so it's been about, oh, I don't know, six minutes, seven minutes. And I've just managed to hear... An animal. Okay, so I've actually tracked all the way over here to the uh, border of uh, B2. So I've run quite a distance. It's taken a while to actually find this animal. So now that we hear the sound, the second part now is to follow the sound and look in focus mode. And also checking out for clues. So you won't see the animal at all until you look at the clues. But you have to find these clues, guys. Now, what happens is is you can hear the animal one way and then it could be a hundred meters behind it's very frustrating and this is one of the issues with it um it's a bit of a strange way to do it but this is just how it is so we've heard the sound we're now trying to find the clues okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna stick in third person to see if we can find these clues it's gonna be very difficult here in all of this but we just gotta keep 
following that sound and we're going to stay very very quiet as well when you go initially to the sound it should give you a clue um so i heard this down here somewhere in fact i'm probably going to go first person because i'm i can't see too much there so obviously you have to stick in focus mode and see if you can try and find the clue which obviously you know what the clue looks like it's just like a it's like a little beacon on the floor but you have to examine it for it to unlock the second clue right so it's directly that direction right so it's right there so we should obviously we should see the animal here but we're not so we should find a clue or at least see a clue in this direction somewhere around so just stay in focus keep looking and there we go. You can see the paw prints. Right, here's our first clue. We're going to stay nice and slow. And we're going to look at this. So, what you do is you look at the clue down here. And you tap F to examine on the left. It says, animal went east. Right, so the animal's now gone east. Which is, it should actually, it should actually show a little direction. But the um, if I lay down here, you might be able to see this. Um, but there's too much, uh, too many leaves and stuff in the way. That's animal droppings there, you can see. I'm going to examine it again. Right, it says the animal's now gone east. So, we're now going to go over this side and we're going to see if we can find a clue. It would be nice to actually see a clue far out because I've got the high awareness now, sort of see that working. But it says the animal went east, yet I'm hearing it sort of more north, which is very strange. So, do I follow the sound now or do I follow the clue? We're looking for the pause. So we should see the paw prints a lot further out now with these uh, with the high awareness. And I'm going to emphasize the high awareness, guys. So what we need to do is just keep going east here. And hopefully we can uh, unlock enough clues. There you go. So it's gone northeast. It wasn't directly east. Come on, give us some more clues. You don't have to stay in focus mode, by the way, but it does help because obviously you're looking for those clues out there, so. Right, still nothing yet. I'm going to go up here. I like how the clues have droppings and stuff now. Right, here we go. We've got a second one. So that was northeast of that last area. So this is a second clue. Already... The high awareness is proving um, better. Right, so now the animal's gone southeast. Right, so if we look here, you can see the footprints are facing this way. But I'm hearing the animal up there, so it makes no sense, right? So we're now heading southeast, this side. And I'm hearing the animal over here now. Still not seeing an animal. I'm pretty sure it's like three clues to unlock it. As far as I'm aware. So we've got two. And I know this is live time, so it's going to be a little bit longer of a video, guys. But like I said, the awareness so far, having high awareness is, is proving to sort of be correct. Um, but I've heard it's also high survival as well. But the awareness is really what you're looking for here. So, be nice to see a clue really far out though, because now I've got advanced awareness. Unless it's limited to where the clues pop in, I don't know. But I want to see those paw prints quite far out. There we go. Okay, that's cool. So, if you had basic awareness, you wouldn't see that clue until you're like probably about this close here. Right, now that puppet could be an issue for us here. Right, examine. Right, it went east. So, we now need to head in this direction. So you can see the paw prints. It's very difficult here, but it's gone this way. Where is it? Is it spawned in yet, or is it? have I got to find another clue? Find out. Soon. Right, where is it? Come on. 
I have to go slow, guys. I'm so sorry. I have to go slow. But I'm trying to do this live time. So you guys know that no funny business is going on here. Right, that goat, the audio is like right there for the goat. So I'm just going to stop. I'm going to have a look around. Right, I'm not seeing any clues here. Right, I'm actually hear I'm actually hearing the animal. But I'm not There it is. There it is. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. I must admit that's quite a rewarding feeling. I'm not going to lie to finally actually get something to eat here. And now I've just attracted every Z because I didn't put a suppressor on my car 98. So we'll just take out that. There we go. No, no. So there you have it, guys. Um, we, we've actually... This is actually, I think, the first animal I've actually tracked down and killed. And that's only because, obviously, being on a test server, I set a character to high awareness. Obviously, when I play multiplayer with the squad, I need other skills. So... Um, as you can see, we got the animal, we hunted it, it took two or three clues, and then the animal spawns in once we start tracking. I understand how it makes sense, but also understand how it irritates some people, because you can't just sit around, um, and expect an animal just to walk past, unless it's predatory, like a bear or a wolf or something like that. So, this is pretty much it, ladies and gents, I'm, I'm so sorry, it's been a bit of a lengthy video, it's going to take a little while to edit this one, um... But you can see how the hunting system does work. And just remember high awareness skill. Um, that's with high awareness and basic survival. So I haven't got a knife to actually skin this right now. So I'm not going to bother doing that at the minute. Uh, but I'm going to leave the video there. So ladies and gents, thank you very much uh, for your ongoing support. And thank you very much for your time on the channel as well. Uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe on your way out, guys. We are coming up to the big 60,000, which is just phenomenal. Absolutely mind-blowing. And it's been a pleasure. Um, it really has. So thank you very much. Stay safe. Have a lovely evening. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.